I've been coming to basketball games in this building for 40 years, season ticket holder. It's tremendous to get back to the big dance. Graduate of Virginia Tech in 77, been coming to games since, just recently started coming as a season ticket holder. Uh, very excited about the direction of the program and looking forward to being in the big dance again. It's just really surreal to be here and see like how our players have grown and like we both know the team really personally and it's just an incredible moment to see these incredible individuals get something they've worked so hard for. But once we see that name, we'll be ready to play and do everything it takes to win and get to this Final Four. I'm going to stick around as long as the uh, coach wants me. Uh, I plan on being uh, a GA next year for him. I'll uh, be behind the bench in a suit rather than in a uniform. And... Virginia Tech means the world to me. I just want to thank everybody for coming out and all the support and love you guys gave us all season. Our home court advantage, it was really strong here. It's hard for other teams to play here. So thank you to Hokie Nation for always coming out here. The whole journey has been, uh, has been wonderful. Uh, but yeah, hopefully tonight we see our name up there. Though that won't be the end, you know. Hopefully we win a couple games, but you guys could care less where you go or who you play, correct? Correct. This is the beginning. I don't say that arrogantly. We didn't come here to be mediocre. We want the life story to continue to change. <laughs> The number nine seed, the Hokies of Virginia Tech. to uh, get selected number nine seed in the tournament. Uh, we worked so hard and I just think that a team like this deserves it. You know, those are kids that have dreamed their whole life of having this opportunity and, you know, along the path of pushing them further than they're typically willing to be pushed, you're trying to explain this is why. It feels good, but I just think of everybody that's helped, all the managers, all the players, all the coaches, all the faces, I think really about the faces that were here like day one, like we didn't have nothing. We didn't have nothing to believe in. I just think about that and it's just crazy how much it's blood, sweat, and tears it's taken to like get to this point and we just want to just pursue and just keep going on from this point. Just trying to switch our mindsets. We were just, since none of us, the players, never made it to the tournament, uh, our dreams were making a tournament. Uh, he, wanted, he wanted us to switch our mindsets to making it and then go deeper into the tournament, trying to win some games.